July 27th of last year, radio host Jamie Samuelson announced on the air that he had colon cancer, that he'd been fighting it privately for 19 months. Turned out to be just a few days before he died. But at that moment, Jamie encouraged a legion of listeners to get a colonoscopy, and man, did it work. March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and it's his wife, Christy McDonald, taking up the cause to honor the love of her life. And people say, you're so strong, and I say, I am, I am really not. And to be able to admit that is okay too, that I'm not okay all the time. No, Christy McDonald is not okay all the time, not just eight months after losing Jamie. As a journalist and anchor at Detroit Public Television, her job is information and she now has way too much of it when it comes to colon cancer. I Monday morning quarterback everything, Devin. I think that's what's so tough is you say, coulda, woulda, shoulda, could we have done this better? Did I do enough? Did I, did we, did we make the right decisions here and there? I, um, we did because we did the best that we could. Sports talk can devolve into rapid fire, hot take radio, the more outrageous, the better, which made Jamie the unsports talkiest radio host around. Smart, witty, measured, but above all, thoughtful and deeply kind. And if that was Jamie on the air, he was even more so off it. With anything, every day gets a little easier, but there's not one time during a show where I don't think of him. Jamie's former partner at the ticket, Mike Stone, couldn't believe Jamie just kept coming to work. He just kept being a husband and a father. Even with the treatments and the clinical trials, he seemed the picture of health. I think he just said, well, I'm here today. Christy's going to take care of the research and, and figuring out what I have to do next. All I have to do is live and take advantage of every day that I have. And he really did. But that's colon cancer for you. Hardly any indication he was at stage four until things went downhill over the span of about a month last summer. And he was just 47 when he was diagnosed. Now, three years ago, doctors changed the guidance on colonoscopies, moving the starting point from 50 years of age down to 45. But even so. so we're seeing the incidence of early onset colon cancer happening to people in their 20s, in their 30s. So if you're around 40, start to have the conversation with your doctor. Even with colon cancer awareness at what must be an all time high, this particular cancer gets its power in part from our discomfort with talking about it. And Christy really wants you to get over that. So if we're having loose bowel movements, if there's blood in our stool, um, if we're having like gastro kind of upset or we're constipated, those are things that no one wants to talk about. Just start to talk about it. Don't be embarrassed. That will be the message. That will be doing it in Jamie's honor. Nine months after his passing, Jamie Samuelson remains with us in the 97-1 studio that now bears his name, but more potently in the lives that are being lived today because on his last day on the air, Jamie told them to make an appointment. And Christy and Stoney hear from them every day. There have been quite a few who have found out that they did have polyps and who knows what would have happened if they didn't get it checked out. I have had handwritten letters from people saying, I think you saved my husband's life because he had polyps removed and he wouldn't have gone in if Jamie hadn't gone on the radio. Um, so those things are beautiful and they're wonderful. I still wish I had Jamie back. Yeah, Christy told me that one of the things that Jamie talked about was that if he did go into remission, it would give him the chance to become a voice and an advocate for colorectal cancer awareness. Well, that job, though, is left to Christy because Jamie never got the chance.